So you have a great business idea and are gearing up to register your business name. Besides the decision point of whether or not you're gonna go sole proprietorship or incorporate or any of the numerous partnership options in between, a big decision point for many of the entrepreneurs that I work with tends to be whether or not they should stick with registering a business name or sticking with their default numbered company name if they do decide to incorporate. If you're at this stage, then this video is for you. We'll show you the differences between a name and numbered company, the pros and cons of each, and even a much easier way to get all of these things done in one go. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, this channel is all about business technologies and strategies that'll hopefully help your business grow, thrive, and become more profitable. If that's your thing, it would be amazing if you hit the like button and subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified of when we make and pump out new amazing small business content. My name is Joe, Digital Advisor for Small Business, and this is Rehas Digital. When you're considering incorporating your business, every entrepreneur has a choice of either naming a corporation or registering um, it as a numbered company. The process is similar for many provinces, but I'll do an overview specifically for Ontario where I'm based, um, just for simplicity's sake. Check your provincial business registration site for more details, but I'll also leave a blog post in the description below that shows all of the links you need based on the provinces that you're headquartered in, or check out the sponsor of this video if you just want to streamline the process for yourself. Now, while naming a company requires an extra step, and it's a decently significant or potentially complex one, and adds cost to the process, which is a nuanced search, it also provides certain benefits for the future operations of the company. It's complex because it provides a comprehensive comparison of your name, or the name that you want, to existing companies and trademarks registered in Canada, and if there's an existing or similarly named business out there. Now, one common misconception is that the, and very big thing to note, is that this doesn't necessarily protect your business the other way around from a trademark perspective. For example, if you name your business Widget Inc., it doesn't stop another company from naming their product or service Widget. For this, you'd need a trademark registration, which is a whole different process and a very legal one. Now, if you have a trademark for widget, the nuance search will actually kick back that there's a trademark for that name already and will prevent you from actually registering that name. Now, in terms of the actual process, interestingly, federal and provincial registration has different costs. It's $13 for a federal name search and provincial is $50 for the name search. And this step is mandatory if you want to register a name so that it's unique. On the other hand, if you don't have a name handy or some other use cases that I'll highlight uh, later in the video, then simply having a number company could be an option. Canada is actually vastly different from other countries, including the US, where you can actually register a company without a name. In fact, this is the default option when you try this process out yourself. If you go this route, it simplifies the process. But personally, if you're passionate about your business, having a name really helps make your business your own instead of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Ontario Inc. as an example. Now, there are three main use cases, but not exhaustive, um, where you would actually want to keep a numbered company without registering a name. One is privacy and anonymity. Numbered companies are assigned a unique number identifier. So if you try this process, it's gonna be seven digits followed by Canada Inc., Ontario Inc., Alberta Inc., whatever the case is. And rather than a name, it discloses the owner's identity. This can provide a level of privacy and anonymity for the owner, as their name is not publicly associated with the company. You're also a lot more flexible in your business activities. Numbered companies are generally seen as more versatile because they don't necessarily have, um, you know, a specific name that ties them to a particular industry or business type. That being said, this isn't necessarily a ga game breaker as, for example, the biggest uh, hardware company out there, Apple, has nothing to do with what they do or sell. Um, so don't let that hold you back. The third is probably the reason why most people go this route. It's just it's just easier to set up. So instead of having to pay money for you know the extra name search and go through that rigmarole, um, the process of getting you know a business registered is just as simple as finding a, a unique identifier um, that's you know for your provincial registration or your federal registration and just getting it done. And it also leaves you a little bit more open to branding considerations down the road, so that if you're just starting off the business right now and you don't have a genius marketing person right behind you, then you can save for later the ideation of an actual whole brand strategy and so on and so forth for your business. On the, on the flip side, there are some drawbacks to starting off with a numbered company. But before that, I'd like to introduce the sponsor of this video, Owner. 
which if you are looking to incorporate and just want to get it done as simple and as easily as possible while avoiding all the complexities of the step that in, in naming your corporation, then they're the ones for you. If you're looking to register a new business in Canada or looking to transition from a sole proprietorship into an incorporation and want to save both time and money, Owner is an amazing solution to get you started to make sure that you're compliant and have everything you need to get your business registered and up and running. They also provide live chat support and you can get all of this for as low as $49 for a sole proprietorship all the way to full incorporation for $4.99, which includes your name registration, organization of your documents and share issuances, up to three accounts, and even a $300 bonus for an RBC business bank account, which you'll need anyway. They've helped over 120,000 businesses across Canada so far, and registering a business as a sole proprietorship only takes three simple steps, all in one place, instead of having to go through the different sites when you have to go through the government. They do only serve BC, Alberta, Ontario, and Quebec, so if you're headquartered in one of those provinces, click on the link in the description below to check them out. Now, back to the video. So we've talked about the benefits of keeping a numbered uh, corporate name, but here are some downsides if you do go that route. The biggest part that you can imagine is the lack of brand identity. A numbered company name just simply isn't going to do you any good when it comes to recognizing what kind of company uh, you are, you know, what kind of products or services you offer, anything like that. Um, and this is probably one of the biggest downsides is that, you know, customers, clients simply just don't know who you are, um, which at some point, if you do decide to, you know, actually go to market and have a marketing campaign, you're going to need a name at some point. Uh, unless you're you're primarily a business to business that doesn't do any marketing um, whatsoever. Now, the second consideration is probably a little bit more important. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. Um, it's going to be liability. Most business owners don't really want to put a numbered company on their business card. So they may resort to using a trade name or a brand name, which may lead to personal liability for the business owner. If you're thinking about doing this, definitely consult your lawyer if you do the go this route. However, in Ontario, there is a master business license system. So this is different from your trade name or brand name process. Um, this lets you register a business name under an existing corporation, including a numbered company. Um, and it costs $60 and provides you registration for up to five years. So keep this in mind. It does expire. Renew it. Um, and this does let you get around this a little bit. Now, the third consideration is that it does cost money to change your name after the fact. So if you don't do it at the same time as you register your, your incorporation name, um, there's going to be a cost from anywhere from $250 to $450 to register a business name from a numbered corporation after the fact, um, compared to choosing a name off the get go, which is just a nuanced name search report. Now, the last one in, in something I've personally experienced is actually human error. And what I mean by that is that when you're dealing with other businesses, you're registering for, um, you know, services, things like that. You have to give your business name. Um, when I was working for a major telecom telecommunications company here in Canada, um, in the past businesses that needed to get services with us sometimes used the number company name as their business name. And let me tell you, it's very easy and, and significantly easier um, to make mistakes when reading out, you know, a string of random numbers instead of an actual notable name. This goes doubly as important, especially if you're dealing with obviously contracts or legal documents, which then creates problems down the road when you're trying to create binding agreements. So all in all, for the vast majority of solutions and situations, it doesn't really make sense to stick with a numbered corporation name. Um, if you do it right off the get go, unless you're in one of those situations where you simply just need the flexibility or the privacy or anything like that, just get it done right away, right off the get go. Um, register the name. If you do need to change the name in the future, it's going to be very similar to the process where you change from a number company name to a named company name. Um, but it's a tiny fraction of the risks that you know, you're going to be facing. Um, if you fall into one of those situations of the downsides I mentioned above and that's it. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any feedback or if you have any questions or uh, stories even related to the experiences that you've had in registering or incorporating your own business, um, and that, you know, share them in the comments below, help your fellow entrepreneurs. Um, also, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. It would be immensely helpful for us, um, as we continue to create more and better content. If you have ideas for content you'd like to see us cover and research, um, please post them in the comments below as well. We also have a wealth of information and resources on our website. Um, so check out the links in the description below and thank you for watching. This is Joe and we'll see you in the next one.